Oh my gosh, you're here. I'm so glad that you stopped by and decided to watch this video. Hey folks, Thunder Monkey back here again with you. And we are gonna actually get into some planting. Yes, that's right. We have hooked up our, our corn planter and we're actually gonna get after it. Uh, and if you are kind of new to the series or didn't watch the uh, video the other day, you'll notice that uh, some of the corn planting is done. What do you mean it's done? Well, I did a live stream uh, where I kind of tidied up some loose ends. We got the rest of the slurry spread. We got uh, a lot of the compost tea put on and got some of the smaller fields planted. So now we're running into the bigger fields here. Got one smaller field left up here to the left, but we're running into the bigger fields and we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that. Here a little farther. Uh, get, uh, get that all planted up and get the corn in the ground and be set, right? You know what I mean? You know what I mean here, Burn? So we're gonna go ahead and hop out here. We've got uh, we've got all that land back behind you and over the hill, just about as far as you can see, to plant. And we've got our seed here, so we'll go ahead and hop in this bad boy. We'll get it disconnected and get uh, some of these seed bags off, and probably just one of them. In fact, I probably gonna strap this front one here. There we go, and uh, get our planter filled up. Fire this bad boy up. And, um, oh, the one thing I didn't bring, I brought the pallet forks, not the bag, well, not the bag grab. This should still work right. I bush. Right? Let's go with right. Let's, go with Let's see if I can secure that thing. All about it. Come on. Hey, look at that. Like a master at this. That comes back and swings and hits. Ah! Speaking of swinging and hitting. Um, let's get this under control, huh? Oh, say swinging and smacking the track. Oh, the, the, the front windshield. That'd be bad, right? go. Just fill it right up there. We'll just imagine that actually went in rather than just kind of looking like it just went onto the ground there. Set that down there. We're probably going to end up using that. What the heck? All right. We'll hop up in here into this beast here and we'll be set to go. Room time. All right, let's go ahead and let's get down Oh shoot, where to start? Where to start? Where to start? Let's head on over here. It's gonna be a good point. Come on back down to this end of the field. So we've got as you can see by our by our stats here. Good God this feels lovely. Um yeah, we've got Full ha a full planter of corn. We're out of oh well, we're out of, not out of fertilizer, but uh, it's opened up. But we're not using solid fertilizer. We're not using granule fertilizer. We're not using liquid fertilizer. We've got uh, we're going all organic. And then we're oh, we're laying this bad boy down in front of us to lay us a nice seed bed. Get this all about as smooth as we can get it, you know, really, really trying. As I said before, squeeze this, no, I guess I didn't say turnip, but squeeze this turnip for everything it's got so that we can make what yield we can make, because I don't know, let's see here, does it show, yeah, does it show me my, my nitrogen level ain't that great on the old corn here, or anything for that matter. I'm probably be reapplying compost tea again to this field. I'm trying to really 
um, not invest, but bolster the uh, overall nitrogen level or fertilization level of this this crop because uh, it ain't that great out here. We're gonna have a lot of winter work. We're gonna be throwing throwing slurry at it, throwing, and then we'll probably this fall. I think we'll see if this plan holds true. You can watch back the episodes, see if I uh, see if that's what we uh, uh, what we ended up doing. But uh, excuse me, I had to drink, take a drink. Most likely end up spreading slurry this fall after harvest. And just letting that soak in, and then coming back. I, may, I might inject. It. Maybe I'll inject. It. We'll see. And then coming back this. Uh, that fall, doing our fall tillage, then throwing manure down on it, right, and letting that sit over the over winter, work the ground again in spring, and hit it back with our compost tea. Um, I think that's probably our best avenue uh, to go after here. So, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what else to. Uh, do organically from the standpoint uh, we're prepping the ground about as much as we can possibly prep it I don't know what else to do that could possibly get you know, our, our, our overall our content up here. There we go. Let's start our seed bed, bed laying and get those rollers rolling, right? Roller, get them roller rating. There we go. Beautiful. Be nice to have an extra hopper on the front, but we've got this bad boy on the front, so we'll, we'll, we'll run it this way. Be good, right? Not good. Um, yeah. Cause so if if this fall, I lay down slurry. I give us about somewhere in the range of about 20 kilograms of nitrogen. Um, and then if a lot with manure, that's about another 20. I mean, these are all in 20-ish range. So let's say it's not like we're gonna be if it'd be uh, you know jumping up with any particular one a whole lot. So you know you go 20, 20, 20 slurry, work it in, twenty manure, let it sit in the spring, work that in, come back, you know, because that we're at forty, right? 40, 40, 40 kilos. Um, come back in the in the spring. And after we work it in, we hit it with compost, and then we can come back, you know, and, and come back over that, spray the compost tea over that, which is, you know, the liquid form of of your compost, if you will. But I think, you know, really be able to draw those nutrients out. We don't have to wait for it to rain. It doesn't rain. So you know, this 80 kilograms. That ain't going very far, right? You know. In the grand scheme of things, when you're when you're looking to to hit, you know, somewhere in the you know, in the range of minimum 120 to to 200, and you're hitting 80, you can see why you know the organic yields just ain't that great. If you know what I mean, and I know you know the you know what I know that you know. What mean? Right? I'm not mean. You're mean. Why are we mean? All right, let's roll. tractor here I I do look forward to one day being able to uh, to get something a little bit bigger um, and I was thumbing through the catalog this tractor is nice it's got GPS um, thumbing through the catalog here and if we look into the catalog of planters and you know currently not a lot uh, Converlins 
you know, we're talking, you know, tw you know, they got a, a nine meter. That you know, that wouldn't be bad. Either one of these wouldn't be bad, but um, this one has the fertilizer hoppers, but it's you know, really not getting this. You know, we're not doing fertilizer, so I'm not sure. You know, I'm not 5.4 meters. I mean, suppose I could get a second one and run, uh, you know, dual tractors on it. Um, have a couple of those old bad boys, but uh, but I get the feeling that we're 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 gonna be in the market for something a little bit bigger. So we'll have to go do some searching uh, to see what is out there. And as you can see, we've we're into our third day here on the farm. Got a lot of work done. I think I you know I've been busting my tail, right? I'm 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 sore from it. I'm I'm old and and I'm lazy and. Uh, this is a lot of manual labor, um, of which I'm, I'm a big fan, so long as it's somebody else's manual labor. Unfortunately, it's become my manual labor. So, um, my, my fandom is, is not as, as high as it used to be. Right to the end here. There we go. Beautiful countryside, though. Beautiful, beautiful, but yeah, you know, if I could get 12 meters, that something in that range, something that folds up, something that I can, uh, I just don't like turning that way, something that, uh, goes a little bit wider, even 10 meters would be okay, 12 meters, you know, you're looking at, you know, I've made four passes, I'd be halfway across the field, well, maybe not halfway across the field, but twice as far, right? That's not hard math, right? Twice the width, same amount of passes. A bit more seed, uh, holding capacity, I think, than, than what this thing holds, but we can take a look around with that. Uh, I wonder, oh, excuse me. All this yawning gets gets uh, to being old. So I wonder here if I take a look at the world of the of tractor tractor house and such, and we look for planters for sale near me because I'm in hungry. come up with Let's take a look here search on my phone can you guys see my phone okay I figured you could plant pots for sale in Budapest Hungary yeah no that's not that's that's not what we're looking for um, large planters for sale new and used large planters for sale face on Facebook marketplace yep yeah, no that's not what we're looking for either thanks thanks if you will antique planters mmm no how about how about we go Let's let's see what happens if we put in cedars. Okay, let's let's yeah, that 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 didn't come out well either. That ended up with a little walk behind things that you wouldn't even use in your garden because they're too dead gum dinky. And yeah, my my googling is, is not. Not coming out good here. Anybody else have any any suggestions? Cause um, let's go. Uh, I don't even know what you can search here. Um, let's just go agricultural it, right? And maybe we can ferret it down there. You know they have the filters and things. Agricultural. For sale, agricultural what? Let's let's equip mint. Apparently, if you think it but don't type it, the phone doesn't know. It hasn't quite gotten there yet. Thankfully, used agricultural equipment for sale in Budapest, Hungary. I think that works. We finally hit on something here. It's a beautiful barn. I had that thing for now. So there's a Vaderstadt. Vaderstadt. 
Yeah, we have Vaterstad, you know. That's not Canadian. Never mind. Um, but there's some Vaterstads. 800 and 820, which isn't going to be that much bigger. There's a horse Pronto. That's not a bad idea. A 9 meter horse Pronto. Right? This one in particular is a six. Um, the Coons, uh, the Lemkin Solter. It's a bit of a drive. It's over in in Nitra, Slovakia, but you know, we could get after that. Get a Caravans too, and that'd be the thing, right? Coon fast, Coon Coon does some good equipment, you know. There's a lot of stuff for sale not far from here, just over in Slovakia. Oh, Monasim, no, that's not. Vaterstad again. You know, that's, uh, you know, Vaterstad, Kuhn, uh, Kuhn, Lemkin. I mean, that gives us some options, right? You know, so I've got a, I, I've got a horse, you know, tractor. Let's get this turn around and get GPS locked back in before we take a look at the catalog. We're gonna need some dead gum money, too. And this end of the field is just so wide open. It makes it so simple. Back it up, back it up. Let me begin. I'm sorry. I won't wrap. Because I can't. Alright, here we go. Lay that seed bed down. And we're off to the races. So if we take Lemkin, Solter, Coon, not Gverlin, but I mean we're not getting. <laughs> Let's go smaller, um, and you know that's more or less kind of the same similar thing we have right now. Vaterstad Tempo, um, yeah, it's a it's a thing, but a horse is a you know we could do a horse, the horse maestro, and we're looking at nine meters there, that ain't bad. The 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 Vaterstad, the Tempo L sixteen, that you know what that might be the thing right there. That's not I ain't bet seven thousand liters. I don't know how much that is seed and how much that is fertilizer. This does this does both right? Yeah, so it does both. So let, if we go sixty forty percent of that is is seed, forty percent of of. 7,000 is 3,500-ish. No, that's 50%. 3,200-ish. 3, uh, we're sitting on 1,000 right now. Probably be able to clear a whole, uh, clear one of these fields. No matter how big it is, like this one here, we're 500, li uh, 500 liters in if we take a look at our GPS map. And we, we take a look right here. Um, if this is 500, that's 1,000, you know, right probably to here. You know, a little less than halfway. So 3,000 liters, we're, we're cutting out this whole field um, pretty quick. You can see I've got it documented here, but, you know, we got corn, 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 corn. We're going to have corn over here. We're going to have corn on the cob. Not for dinner, but we're going to have it nonetheless. Um, gotta love the auto, auto assist, auto turning assist feature. <coughs> um, but yeah, I would like to make some upgrades. I mean, that's, that's not been any secret here, right? I've mentioned that time and time again. Uh, so we could start working just a wee bit faster. Um, I'm kind of thinking that. Uh, turn my glass back on so I can see all that. That uh, and you can see I got a lot of. A lot of this ground has not been plowed. Some of this has been. Uh, some of this has not been. Uh, and that's just the way it is. We're gonna get. Get to that eventually, but. Not uh, not this particular part of the season. Um, but yeah, everything's kind of growing. We're kind of getting along here. So we're doing well. Ish. Got these all ready to go. Things, you know, so. Things are moving along. Won't be long and we'll be harvesting the barley and 
start bringing in some cash flow again and then we'll get to harvesting the hay again and we don't need any hay for the current cows so that's good so we'll be able to you know next next cutting maybe the next two cut you know probably only get more and cut one more solid cutting this year maybe you know cutting in a half but we will turn that to, to a nice little profitable arena that'd be nice right I'd be okay with that So we've got some financial gains to happen this year. I just have no idea how much and how quickly we'll be able to spin that around because the first thing would be to, to up the animal pins and yeah, I'm not sure quite which animal to go after first. Whether it be the, the, the cows, I'm thinking it's gonna be the cows just due to the fact that I'm wanting to, I was wanting to do a dairy herd uh, I might just for the sake of argument. Roll it into yeah, just a much, much larger uh, beef herd. These are things that are rolling through my head. You got suggestions? Go ahead and, and, and roll them through my head as well. I would like for you to roll your ideas in my. Does that make sense? I mean, we still can, we can, we can still call the bank, right? We haven't even begun to hit the bank up for for, for well, uh, what we could sink ourselves into. So we could we could, we could sink ourselves pretty hard, and, and maybe I'll, I'll, I'll get itching this this for this fall after we get past some of the the harvest, and I'll go. You know what? think it's time to spend a whole lot of money in fact now I really want to do that I want to spend the money right now how many cows can we get how big of a barn could we build there's some plans out there that we could take a look at and Do I do that? Do I do? Should I go drop my drawers and say, "Okay, bank," you know, "Okay, bank, here we go." Um, yeah, I don't know. Dang near crap myself on that one. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh, Johnny boy. Oh, is that what we do? Do we go and throw cash at it? Cash, it's not my cash. Somebody else's cash, so that's okay. Right? Because that makes it somehow better because... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we still need a forage harvester, too. Oh, man. I might have to call the bank to see what they're willing to... Because I don't know what the valuation... Well, uh, the land... I haven't even officially finished up the documentation with with the will and everything. Because this got thrown at me and it was kind of like, okay, here we go. Ah! Right? You know, what? Move out of the United States? Okay, sure, fine. Start a farm? Okay, yeah, I've done that before. Not. Um, you know, go out and and, 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 and tend to, to cows? Uh, I, I, they wouldn't die under my care, you know, with, with but I sure could use some guidance here. Right. So it's, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to call the bank, you know, because they've got, they'll have they have the evaluation on the loan, and we'll be able to kind of figure out, maybe I've got more space, not more space, but more flexibility than I thought. That's a great question. You know what we should do? I'm going to call the bank, but I'm going to do that later. For now, I'm going to say thanks guys for watching. If you really enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and get your friends to come along as well. Share the video with them. Say, hey, dude, you got to check out this crazy bald-headed guy. 
because he's crazy. And he's a monkey, right? He doesn't eat bananas really well, but that's besides the point. Bring them along. Have them watch the video too. Would love to, you know, see you guys all in the live stream today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Lord Thunder Monkey, and I'll see ya next time.